Um, so, hey guys and girls, um, what can I say? Uh, basically, uh, I made a video in a while, um, you know, doesn't know. Um, but I know this camera sucks, just don't worry about it, don't worry about it at all. Um, but I wanted to just do something very quickly because basically last weekend, starting on Sunday night about 10 o'clock in the evening, I started watching Sword Art Online. And I started watching it, and I watched it till about 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I went to work the next day, I got back, and I watched the rest of Sword Art Online. It's about 25 episodes, about 9 hours of content, I watched in about 24 hours, roughly. No, you know, it's, I, I, I love the series, and it got me back into watching anime at, at the moment, actually. Um, I've watched a couple more series, well, I've not watched a couple more series, I've watched parts, um, I rewatched Princess Lover, I watched High School of the Dead for the first time, which I own on Blu-ray, but I never properly watched, and f found out that it's pretty much shit. Um, and what else did I watch? Uh, oh yeah, um, I've watched the first nine episodes of No Game No Life, um, which is airing at the moment this season, um, and that's really good. I mean, go watch No Game No Life. It's fucking awesome. It's really really good. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, and I've watched the first episodes of the first two episodes of Kill the Kill last night, which is really strange. It's a really strange anime. I'm not sure, but basically, um, I wanted to make a video because of these. Um, yeah, um, I basically when what am I gonna say when um. When I finished watching them, it was like, I was really high on it. Like, I was really, really high on Sword Art Online. Like, really, I literally, it was probably one of the best animes I've watched in a very long time. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's probably it's quite polarizing as well, though. Like, apparently, a lot, not, not a lot of people, like, people kind of uh, a bit iffy about it. Like, a lot of people think the second half of the se season isn't as good. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed all of it. I thought all of it was really, really good, which is why I wanted to buy the Blu rays. Because the way I watch anime is I will watch online through any means necessary, legally if I can, through Crunchyroll or Netflix or something like that. Um, but if I'm not able to due to either bandwidth issues because sometimes Crunchyroll lags a bit for me, or um, through uh, uh, streaming, I think like Kiss Anime or something like that, um, uh, I'll, I'll watch like that. And then if I really enjoy the series, then I'll buy the Blu-ray. Um, and this is what I decided to do with Sword Art Online. Um, so... I mean, what can I say in reality? Um, well, yeah, um, basically, I, I looked it up and like, sort out online Blu rays in the UK are very, very expensive. They don't have any special features or anything. Like, as far as I can tell, they were only the. the as far as I can tell, like, they, they were just the episodes. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unbox them all and just make sure that nothing is on it and show you what they look like. As well, because some of the pictures, for example, I bought mine. Um, the the, the Blu-rays all together on Amazon were about hundred pounds each. I managed to find them on Zavi.com, which is a UK website, for eighty-four pounds altogether, and they do free UK delivery, uh, first-class postage. Uh, they advertise it's two to five days, but it's first-class postage. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, I, um, I I couldn't afford it. Well, I could afford it, but. Um, I just basically, uh, I didn't want to spend that amount of money, but um, I, was on, I was on the phone to my dad, and he offered to buy them for me. Well, actually, I asked to buy them, asked him to buy them for me, but then he said, yeah, and he took an active interest in it, which I was really happy about. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, he bought me them, and I they came a few days ago. Well, they came this morning, actually, sorry. Um, but I bought them a few days ago, and they, they came this morning. So I'm just going to show you what they look like so far. So we'll just unbox like the first one first. Uh, so that's. An, I'm also going to show you on uh, my phone camera as well, which is a bit higher quality uh, video. So you'll be able to see it all kind of like, a bit higher quality. But I'm just going to unwrap it for now. So uh, I probably should have unwrapped this before. I will edit this out if it takes me too long.
awesome. So yeah, so we've got Sword Art Online on the front. So open this thing up. So as you can see, we've got Sword Art Online on the front. Really nice artwork of Asuna and Kurito. And it says Sword Art Online Part 1. It's only available in the UK as a double play. You can only buy the Blu-ray and the DVD. And at the prices I've seen, it's not worth it just to buy the DVD version. Um, it's about, I found it for, like the cheapest I found the DVD was £15, and the cheapest I found the double play was £21. So you're essentially playing, paying six quid for high definition versions of the content. Um, as you can see, really nice artwork. If you look at the back, uh, this may be a game, but we're not playing around. In the near future, virtual reality and massive, massive multiplayer online role playing game called Sword Art Online has been released where players control their avatars with their bodies using a piece of technology called Nerve Gear. One day, players discover they cannot log out as the game creator is holding them captive unless they reach the 100th floor of the game's tower and defeat the final boss. However, if they die in the game, they die in real life. Their struggle for survival starts now. So, yeah, you know, sort out online. A couple of, uh, couple of nice, uh, couple of nice screenshots of the of the anime. Hang on, camera's going out of focus. You got some really nice screenshots here. So you got, uh, what is it? There's the, there's the game creator guy. It's Klein, um, Kurito, obviously. Asuna and Carito, and then uh, Carito, Asuna, and Caradil, I think his name is. Caladil, Caradil, something like that. Um, yeah, Raid 12, it's got all the cool. Um, got all the credits on the bottom, although they don't show the voice actors. That's a bit weird. I should show the voice actors, really. So I'll open it up. Uh, nice art on the inside again and it's an alternate cover that's really nice that's that's really nice I like that a lot so yeah you got Aincrad on the inside as well as the episode names so the world of swords beta red nose reindeer the black swordsman murder in the safe zone illusionary avenger and warmth of the heart and then some re the discs are really nice as well. Really nice as well. I've noticed this about. Um, I've really noticed this about anime Blu-rays. I've got a couple of other anime Blu-rays uh, around. Actually, they're all downstairs. I've got Angel Beats, but that's not open. Um, yeah. Um, also, I bought this as well. I just like to show you this. It's the uh, first light novel of Sword Art Online. It's really nice. It's the first translate. It's the first translation to come out. It only just came out a few weeks ago. Um, it's really, really nice quality. Um, but yeah, uh, the next translation comes out in August, I think. I've already got it pre-ordered. But the thing I've noticed is that the discs are always like a really nice, really, really nice quality. And my phone just messed up. I didn't tell you to stop. Yeah, the discs are always a really nice quality, which I... Okay, please stop doing that. The discs are always a really nice quality, which I really like about um, about anime uh, like discs type things. So, obviously you got the Elucidator there and Kurito. Really nice. So just all on one disc. That's nice to see, at least. So this is the DVD. Um, and all the Blu-rays are on one disc as well. All the high definition ones are on one thing. It's nice. I like I like it when they put them on one disc. And then also, um, I'm going to get this out as well because I really want to see this. So I'm just going to put you in blackness for a minute. Finally, done. So, as you can see, 
Same artwork on the front, but on the back, you get anchored and the list, and then on the side, exactly the same. Sword Art Online, part one. Okay, that's really nice. Let's move on to part two very quickly. Okay, so we've got Sword Art Online Part 2, um, which again is a really nice artwork. The thing I wanted to talk about mainly with this is notice the difference between the style between this one and this one. Is that that's Sword Art Online like all the way across the top, and this one is kind of it's a bit more, it's a different style. Um, the reason why I bought them from Zavi was because I thought they were all going to be like this. I had seen like the people, some sites advertise. Sword Art Online, where they they had it like this, like this. The first one was kind of like this, and the second one was like this, and the third one and fourth one were like that as well. The reason why I bought them from Zavi was because they're all like that, and I wanted it to be uniform. So I'm going to show you the pictures of what Zavi show and compare them uh, with, like, just put them in, like in the corner of the screen, um, and show you what um, uh, this looks like as well. So you can see what this looks like here. So again, you've got um, uh, main characters, Kurito and Asuna, and then you've got Yui as well. And that's a really nice picture. I actually really like the cover of this one. Even though it's not uniform, I really like the cover. I think the artwork is really nice. Um, look on the back. Uh, There's going to be spoilers. So if you don't want to learn anything more about... <laughs> If you don't want to learn anything more about the, uh, the anime, then <laughs> stop watching now. It's going to be slight spoilers according to the backs of the cases, at least. Um, but I assume if you're looking to buy the Blu-rays, honestly, you've probably already watched this. If not, um, as soon as I stop looking at the back of the box is when um, the spoilers will end and I won't talk about it again. Um, okay, so this may be a game, but we're not playing around. I'm guessing that that's the tagline they're using for the English or slash Western version. Well, uh, Western, uh, like, uh, things, as, uh, advertisements of the game. But uh, it says on the back, Escape from Iron Crowd. It's been two years since the players of Sword Art Online were first trapped in this life or death, death adventure. As Kurito and Asuna get closer, Asuna starts, starts to want distance from the Knights of the Blood. Um, but her wish does not come easily. The assault team launches an attack on the 75th floor boss, but they find the Skull Reaper to be an extremely tough foe. Meanwhile, Kurito begins to feel suspicious of Heathcliff's actions. So obviously, that that pretty much spoils the entire, like all of this, all of this Blu-ray. Like if you actually know what's going to happen. Um, but as you see, you've got Asuna and Kurito and Heathcliff and Asuna, a really nice looking picture again. It's exactly the same as the one on the front, uh, but it's still really nice. Um, I think the art, like, the, the, one, of the main, one of my main likes for Sword Art Online is the fact that, um, that the art is just so nice. It's such a nice art style. Um, and some of the action scenes are fantastic. Um, but yeah, so you've got the big fish, Yui, creator of the game, Kurita and Kurito and Asuna. And I can't see that exactly. Oh yeah, that's the final boss. Uh, that's the 75th floor boss. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to stop watching this. So, spoiler finger is going away. Spoiler finger is going away. Yeah, so we look in the front. Uh, really nice again. Um, and now we're going to open this one up. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to put you down for a second. Uh, and I'm going to pick you up again. And again, really similar. The good thing is like the, the sides of them are the same style. I just thought I noticed uh, the sides are the same style. If you look inside, basically captures most of the um, kind of most of what's going on in Sword Art Online. Uh, again, it's really really good. Um, uh, this just captures what's going on in kind of this 
point in Sword Art Online. So again, you've got the episode list, so the sword, dancer, black and white, the blue-eyed demon, crimson killing intent, the girl of morning dew, Yui's heart, edge of hell's abyss, the end of the world. Um, really, really good. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, the artwork is, is it exactly the same? Yeah, so yeah, so the artwork on the front is always exactly the same. Um, is it actually slightly different though? Yeah, see, uh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. See, uh, I didn't realize before, but this secondary artwork gets rid of the um, the double play label that you get on the front. So I'll probably change them all over for all of them because that double play label makes it look awful. Um, but yeah, um, and then again, really nice discs. Yui with the apples. Yui's probably one of my favorite characters in the in the uh, in the anime. Um, she's kind of a little, she's a little bit annoying at first, but I think she really comes out in the second half as a like a really fun character. Um, yeah, really really good. Uh, so let's get started on the next one. It's gonna be quite a long video. Again, these are the only Blu-rays and DVDs that you can get in the UK. And here's where we get to the controversial part. It's very controversial. Very controversial. Um, so yeah, so this is part three. Um, really nice cover art again. Got Yui, Kurito, and Leifa. Um, Leifa being my favorite character in the game, in the in the anime. Um, anyone who's watched the anime understands what that means. And yes, it does mean that that she is my favorite character. Um, if we look on the back. Uh, uh, again, spoilers. Spoiler finger. Spoiler finger. So, um, Sword Art Online Part 3, Episodes 15 to 19. This is a rip-off of a Blu-ray. I'm on, honestly, there's only five. There's only five episodes. Like, it's barely, it's not even two hours long. And this, this costs, like, over 20 pounds. Like, it's so expensive. But, so we read, it says, Welcome to Alfa, Alfa, I can't even pronounce it. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like Alfheim, Alfheim Online. Uh, although Kurito cleared SAO and returned to his real life, his adventure was far from over. Asuna is in a coma in the hospital, and Nobuyuki Sugo of Recto, the company that took over SAOs, they call it RCT in uh, in the anime, from what I've heard. But the company that took over SAO's property is trying to get married to her. Hearing that Asuna has been spotted in the virtual game Alfheim Online (ALO). Uh, Kurito decides to dive into the virtual world once again with the help of Leifa. Kurito rushes, help of Leifa. Kurito rushes to the world tree where Asuna is supposedly imprisoned. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you see the Alfheim Online logo. That's the box case. That's Leifa. You got a picture of Asuna still in a nerve gear. Uh, there's Agil from the first half from Sao. Uh, can't see that properly. Um, it looks like it looks like uh, Kurito. Uh, there's Lee from Kurito, and there's Kurito again, and there's Yui because Yui is cute. Uh, oh yeah, look QR code trailer for anyone that wants to watch it. <laughs> I don't know if that'll work or not. Uh, but yeah, so again, let's open this up. So yeah, we've got uh, some more. And again, only five episodes in this one. This is the shortest disc uh, the, for uh, perspective. Uh, part one had seven episodes. Yeah, part one has seven episodes. Uh, part two has eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
part two has seven episodes, but part three has six episodes. It has five episodes, and part four has six episodes. Um, but yeah, so we've got Return, Land of the Fairies, Captive Queen, To the World Tree, and the Lugu Corridor. Um, and again, discs are really nice. I really like this style. I like how the different colours as well. This one's green. Um, the first one was kind of a grey. Uh, uh, Yui's was the first, second one was red. I imagine that one's going to be blue. Um, don't ask me how I know that one's going to be blue. <laughs> but yeah, really nice picture. Leafa. Uh, again, alternate art on the back is exactly the same as the art on the front, apart from it lacks the Blu-ray double play label. Um, literally, I'm sure it just it. And it's obviously not for sale, so you can I forgot to notice that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's just the Blu-ray, so there's nothing else that you, that you can't get anything else. I know there's um, commentary and things and special features, but I don't know where to find them. I think there might be with, you might be able to get hold of the, the special Blu-ray box set. It's very expensive though. I couldn't, there's no way I would ever buy that because I think it's too expensive. Um, it, you only get... Like if you like if you got the whole series, I might have considered it, uh, but you only get uh, part one. Like it's the box set for part one, the first seven episodes. Whereas I think that kind of like this episode, I think like the best, I think the best uh, parts of the anime are kind of the first seven episodes and like the first few episodes um, at, is of part three as well. I think they're both really good. Um, but yeah, so that was part three. I'm gonna look at that, and then the final one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the last one, part four. Really nice cover. I really like this because it shows everyone who's really kind of a permanent character in the series. You've got uh, Leifa, you've got Agil, you've got Klein, you've got Kurito, you've got Asuna, you've got Liz. I can never fucking remember her name. I think it's Psycho. I think it's Psycho. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to look it up. Hang on one second. <laughs> Quickly, let's look it up. Where are you? Uh... Sword Art Online <laughs> Characters Tell me Please don't get spoiled <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled Silica, that's her name That's her name, Silica Yeah, yeah. so that's or Silica, I don't know how to pronounce it That's Silica, I think Psycho-san is actually Princess Lover um, uh, Psycho-san yeah, I think I think uh, Psycho, that's not Silica so That's Silica-san and that's Yui, Yui Chan, yeah, uh, really nice. I like the look of this. Um, kind of a spoiler. <laughs> uh, Ironcrad never really goes away. Ironcrad's like always really important in the series, I think. But yeah, um, so let's look at the back again. Spoiler finger. So if you look. Uh, the truth of Alfheim, Kurito and Leifa finally reached Central Aran, the largest city in Alfheim. By the foot of the world tree, Kurito is determined to face the dangers of the Grand Quest to rescue Asuna. With the support of the Sylphs and the Cats, cat sides, the Kuri will Kurito save Asuna in time, or will he be crushed by Oberon's evil plans? Really nice art, as always. You got Gui. You got kind of the, again, you can see Iron Crad. Partially. And you've got. That is that supposed to be Alan? Think it is. Think it's supposed to be Alan. That's the general. Uh, that's the general of the army. Or the commander of the Salamanders, whatever his name is. Uh, that's the. I, I think that's Aaron. Um, there you've got the leaders of the cat sides. Sylphs and the Cat Sids or something. There's Carito. That's what's his face. The fuck is he called? I've got to look it up again. 
No, it's spoiling shit. It's spoiling shit. I don't want to read this. Come on, stop spoiling shit. Stop spoiling shit. Stop spoiling shit. I'm trying to... I... Please, come on. Come on. I can do this. Okay, I literally have no idea. I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't know. I don't know what he's called. But he's a friend with Leafa Chan. Uh Suno Karito and that's the sovereign guy, the guy who's in charge of Wrecked. Wrecked there. Uh, so let's have a look on the inside. I'm I'm gonna make a bet that it's a sooner on the disc. I bet it's a sooner on the disc. If it's not a sooner on the disc, I'm gonna be really disappointed. I think I think the disc is gonna be blue. Oh wow, I lose, I lose, oh it's a nice picture anyway, so it's good, it's kind of, this one's a 15 for obvious reasons, if anyone has seen the anime before, so yeah, so six episodes, alternate cover, uh, General of the Blazing Flames, The Truth About Alfheim, Grand Quest, Bonds, Gilded Hero, The World Seed, The World Seed is fucking awesome, I love it. Yeah, so sort of online four. It's exactly the same as the picture on the front, and they're all in there. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what Klein's wearing. I think. If you look on the front. No, those ears are definitely pointed, which is weird. It's strange, but yeah, so really nice discs again. Um, and that's it really. Um. All four Blu-rays. So yeah, this is what's available in the UK. Unfortunately, it's a shame there's not more. Um, but yeah, um, it's a really good series. Um, if you're interested in watching it, it's available to watch free on Crunchyroll in SD uh, legally. And by watching it there, you're going to support the industry. So please watch it there. Um, because this, um, I really, really like this series. I want to see it really kind of progress and go further. Um, other than that, um, if you do like it, go watch it. And then the next season, because this came out in 2012, um, the next season uh, starts in July, on July 5th. And if it's anything, I assume it's going to be like this, because this, this was a massive success. So it's going to be about a 25 episode run, so it's going to last all the way to December, which is going to be really, really good. Um, uh, really look, I'm really looking forward to the run, because from everything I've unfortunately read so far, um, like the the uh, the short descriptions of the next se season, uh, it's sounding really good. Um, also, um, you currently can't buy the Extra Edition movie. There was a movie, which is basically a synopsis of the entire series, um, and you can't buy it in the UK yet, so unfortunately I wasn't able to buy that. But you can get it uh, from other places around the world, and then if you can read Japanese or like speak Japanese, then I'm sure you'll be able to watch it nicely. I unfortunately uh, don't. I'm currently learning Japanese, but uh, not enough to watch an, an anime yet. Um, but yeah, uh, that was my unboxing. Uh, hi. Maximum recording size reached. Awesome. Just in time. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, my kind of unboxing. I'm probably going to, because I, what I plan on doing is watching these through again um, before the... Um, uh, before the, I'm gonna, probably going to watch these two again before season two starts. Uh, start. I think it, it airs on July fourth. I think on Crunchyroll it comes out on July fifth. Um, I assume with subtitles. I really hope it was, uh, it's got subtitles. Um, I assume that's why it's a day late, honestly, so they can add subtitles. Um, 
you never know, they might they, they might be working in partnership. It's supposed to be a single cast. So you never know, they might actually be working in partnership with um, SAO Project and actually uh, it'll be SAO Project's own personal subtitles like these are on the actual Blu-ray which will be really good and it means watching it on Crunchyroll is probably going to be better than watching it on somewhere like Kiss Anime um, but yeah so um, I plan on watching these through again before season 2 comes out um, and once season 2 comes out I'm going to review the Blu-rays um, tell you if they're worth the money because they are so expensive um, but I'm going to tell you if they're worth the money whether the, uh, the animation quality looks really good about the colours things like that um, and then I'm going to post and, and uh, it'll be a review of the Blu-rays and of the series of a, a short series and then um, I won't spoil anything in that and then I'm going to do another separate video where I'm literally going to talk at the camera and just talk about kind of my reactions to the series and then what I'm looking forward to in season 2 um, uh, so yeah so this was my supposedly short video but it definitely wasn't definitely wasn't a short video <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably get, hopefully um, it should speed up a little bit. Um, it took quite a long time. It shouldn't have taken that long. Um, I'll, I'll cut various bits on. But yeah, uh, 